Hi everyone, so today we are at Lentoria and we got our IC Marcelo here. So he will bring us around to tell us about Lentoria and show us the show flat unit. So Lentoria is low density development okay. at 267 units, covering a land size of 116,000 square feet. The developer for here is actually TID, it's a joint venture wow. between Hong Leong and yeah. uh, Mitsui Fudosan. So um, there's is the swimming pool 50 meter here? Yes, so we have a 50 meter lab pool and at the other end there's actually a connecting kids pool. Okay. And at both ends of the swimming pool actually barbecue pavilion. So this is the low tower block and there's a high tower block. Uh, the higher floor will get a very good unobstructed view because it's actually facing the Hillock Park direction. But is this seems a bit further from the MRT? Okay, so mm. if you can see from the side gate, right, we do have a cover shelter walk. It's about 4 minutes walk to Lentor MRT. Uh, 400 meters? About there, okay. and uh, it's fully sheltered. It's fully sheltered. It's fully sheltered. So there will be, but because currently there is no shelter, but in future they will build a shelter that yes. fully linked from the side gate yes. to the MRT. Yes. So it's actually not too far. It is, it is not too far. It is really okay. not too far. Okay, that's nice. So facility wise, is it full condo facility? Yeah, yeah. we do have most of most facility. So tennis court wise, uh, we do not have tennis court, but else other than that, we do have the full facilities. Okay. But in terms of the maintenance fee. Um, how much are we looking at for the three and the four? Yeah, so the three and the four bedroom at are at around five hundred dollars. So okay. I think it's still quite an acceptable range. Okay. So there's uh, how many side gate for this project? So in total, there's mm. three side gate, okay. and uh, each side gate comes with its own purpose. Okay. One to the MRT at the back. Okay. One to the green finger at the side. Green and finger. And one in the front at the entrance. I see. Okay, that's nice. So do you have any preference of? Which unit or which tech is the best facing units? Okay, like. so for myself, right, yeah. because I like greenery view, okay. and I have a family of my own, so if okay. it's me, I would definitely choose mm. uh, stack 14 at the corner there. 14 at the so corner. So there's the four bedroom premium we saw just now. Okay. And mm. It's an unobstructed view all the way towards Hinok Park. So directly all unblocked view? Yes. Okay, if you're looking for unblocked view, Step for day to look forward. Okay, yes. for three bedroom, which one is the good facing unit? So the three bedroom, mm. similarly the one at the show unit, okay. uh, it will be at stack eighteen, which is facing the back. Facing the back. Yeah, it's also a corner unit. Okay. And also because of it, mm. uh, facing the landed estate, it is similarly. A so it will be unit. face landed yes. directly. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So that will be really nice. Yes. So seems like how about here? If you face it on the low rise, yes. is there any tall tree here or? What's, what's in front of Lentor Hill Road? So, of course, opposite us is a uh, future development. Okay, future uh, development. Yes, yes. So, it'll be nice as well. It's not an old project, it's yes. a new development, so yes. you will look similarly. Will be but generally, nice. in Lentor area, all the residential development, if you look into it, yeah. they're actually uh, covered by uh, green fingers. So, you oh, do not okay. have actually a side to side connection. So, you will not be like back to back to each yes. other. All will have a, a good, good, yes. good space. Uh. Okay, that's good. So, Marcelo, where are we now? Okay, now we are at Lentoria, a three-bedroom premium unit. Premium, okay. Yes. So, what's so, what's so special about the premium, actually, there is a white frontage at the living room later we can see, and also there's okay. actually a study area. Okay. So, before we go there, mm -hmm. we have a look at the entrance here. So, over here, mm -hmm. we have all this cabinetry on done up. Okay. And at the bottom, there's actually an open area. I so, see. if you have to put your shoes, sandals, or yeah. even your okay. robot cleaner, I think it's a very good space for you to do that. Sure. Uh, what size are we looking at for this premium? Okay, so this unit will be at 1,119 square feet. 1,119. Oh, yeah. this is very nice. You can hang picture here. It's like an art gallery. Yeah. And give a lot of privacy for the unit. Yes. And you can see that actually, this unit, right, mm. uh, is belonging to the Drust House team. Okay. Which means that the... Uh, there's two unit, I mean there's two color type that you can choose from. Okay. One is tree house, one tree is house. glass house, and glass. this is the glass house. So what's the difference in terms of the glass house coloring? So, so the glass house in general is lighter in color compared to a tree house. Okay. Like this light grey. Yes. I see. So over here you can see right mm. we are actually a white frontage unit. Yeah. So typically we don't have a lot of white frontage unit for a three bedroom yeah. unit. This is very nice. Yeah. So white frontage here we are having a 5.1 meter width. 5.1 meter width. Yeah. So this 5.1 meter you look out will be all the view in yeah, front. So for this deck, uh, mainly you'll be looking out towards the Thompson Hill Estate. Which Thompson is, Hill Estate. Which okay. is a landed estate, so okay. it will be an unobstructed view. Okay, that's right. nice. So above mm -hmm. us right actually is a Haiku fan. Haiku, is it provided? Yes, so over okay. here at Lentoria, all units comes with a fan. Okay. It, it goes in line with current uh, energy saving wave. I noticed the house is a little bigger than the usual, is it? Yes, it is. So, 
The tiles here is slightly bigger than typical, it's 800 times 800 compared to the typical one which is 600 and 600. Okay. So what that means is that actually there's less grouting on the floor and okay. everything looks cleaner. Yep, it's a large format. Okay. So okay. do you feel that the height is also slightly higher? Um, the ceiling height feel like 2.9? Yes, you're right. So it's 2.9. Okay. So because <laughs> typically it's lesser than 2.9 because over yeah. here at Lentor is a mm. non-PPVC development. PPVC means that it's a... You got Lego, Lego stack hacking, up. Yes. So this one you can hack the wall. If yeah. you want, I can hack this wall yeah. over. Some of the walls here but, can back. But why Lentoria is non-PPVC when it's uh, also a GIS land? Yeah. So when uh, developer tender for land, there are requirements by a uh, URA to specify whether it's a PPVC requirement or not. And so for us here, we are not PPVC required. So we have the flexibility for you to reconfigure the whole unit. Okay, that's nice. Yeah. So we can reconfigure to along refine. the way. Yes. Okay, let's see the kitchen. Wow, okay, you have the... All the cabinetry are done up here. Okay. And also for mm. the countertop, right? Yep. You feel that it's a bit different. Uh, This looks like... Is it squats? Quartz. Yes, it's quartz. Yes. So typically, uh, what you can find in uh, newer projects are solid mm. surface top. Over okay. there, oh. both the backsplash mm. and the countertop is quartz material. Okay, it's quite nice. So you have the... All the cabinetry. Uh, all the cabinetry is done up. And the cold flight is provided as yes. well. And so what's this? Hidden here. Oh, wow. Okay. So I think uh, over here, the developer is more mm. uh, detailed. And uh, yeah. the unit, I can really say that it's smooth in friendly. Yeah. I see. Wow, I see it's a blue hinges. Yes. So these are all soft closing. Yes. Sorry. Okay, but so yes. washer, dryer. So for three bedroom, they provide washer and dryer yes, separately. Both wash. I Same see. as a stove. And also have cabinet on top. Yes. So it's really, you don't have to do any renovation for I the think kitchen. The, the most cost effective mm. way of moving in is just to install the lights and and the curtains. Yeah. Okay. So coming to the yard area, wow, this is a uh, open, open yard. yard. So you have ventilation in this area. So it's L shaped open yard. So you install a cloth hanger here. Yeah. So you can dry it using the sun. Okay, that's nice. And you have a yeah, bomb here. Yes, this is not a bomb shelter, this is actually a utility room. So there's no bomb shelter in any of the unit in, in the, the unit, area. yes. Okay, that's good. And you have a helper toilet. Yes, and the helper toilet comes mm. with a window as well. Also have a window. Wow, okay. And this is not a small window. This is actually a big panel window. window. So imagine this will have crosswind to the kitchen. Yes. Even when you cook, the, the smell or anything will actually cross out from here. Yes. Okay, that's something unique. This would be a very windy unit. Yep, yep, yep. Right. Okay. So let's head to the bedroom and have a look. Okay. So before we enter any of the bedroom, right, over at the right hand side, right, actually you can see this study area. So this study area, you cannot fit a bed, but you have a big yep. window and a separate aircon. Yes, the aircon is provided. So you can do a glass panel here if you want to enclose it. Yes. Okay. If you like to, to have yep. a more quiet area, probably you can just it's not So static. technically, this can be a, maybe it can be a helper room also. I don't know, maybe. Maybe, if you yeah. have a very small size helper, <laughs> yes. Okay, so potentially this can be uh, another small storeroom as well yes. if they don't need a study. Yes. So we have two common bedrooms. The common bedroom size is, uh, what size are you looking at? 8.5 square meter. 8.5. Both okay. of them are identical. I see. And it's all full glass panel. Yes. Okay. And we can have a look at actually the mm. cupboards here. Okay. Uh, the, all done out. The cupboard is all full height. Okay. No wastage of space. So queen size with a small side table is quite comfortable. comfortable. Yes. You can still have a small uh, desk here. Yes. Okay. The room size is quite decent. So the, the other room will showcase a single bed so you can feel the difference. Yeah. So, so when you enter is actually the common toilet. Common toilet. So the common toilet comes with a big window. Yes. Okay. And so also if you notice the provision of the mm -hmm. brands provided, okay. they are mostly from Toto. Oh, Toto is an expensive brand. Yes, so they even come with the BD, I, re I realized. Yes, the BD also comes with. Most of the unit doesn't have, and the WC is a wall hung. Hum. Yes. Okay. So the finishing is rather quite premium in that yes. sense. So they focus a lot on the detail. Okay, sure. Right. So this is the second common bedroom that I was talking about. Okay. It's now uh, with a single bed, so you can have a good feel of the space. Okay, then. Okay, we see the master. Wow, okay. The master bathroom also comes with a big window. So for the size of the whole master bathroom together with the mm. toilet, it's a 17.4 square meter. 17.4 square meter. So can you fit a king size bed in the master bedroom? Yes, we can. You can see that actually over here, mm. this is a king, king size. size bed with two side table. Is this a king? Oh yeah, this is a king. Yes. Yes. 
So king size made with two side table and plus some uh, cabinetry in front is comfortable. Okay, and you still have this accessory um, cabinet, cabinet yeah. in this corner. Okay, so anything else you want to add on like in terms of the three bedroom layout, um, we have the premium, we have the non-premium. So in terms of room size, is, are they all similar or? So the premium one, of course, is the mm. bigger unit because of the study area and yep. so of the layout. Okay. Of course, over here, we still have other layout of three bedroom okay. that are between uh, 900 to 1,000 square feet in between. Okay. So there's a few configuration. Uh, if you're interested, uh, okay. you can come sure. over and have a look. Let's check out the others. So where are we now? So over here, we're at the Lentoria 4 bedroom premium unit. Premium. Uh, this okay. unit size is 1,345 square feet. Is it the only layout or there are smaller four bedrooms? So bedroom? there's two types of four bedroom. Okay. One is the slightly smaller one. Okay. And this is the slightly bigger one with a study area at okay. 1345. So this is the bigger one? Yes. So as you enter, we have all these cabinetry done up. Yep. All these are done up for you. Okay. So as you enter, you can see that uh, mm. this theme is actually a bit different. Okay. This theme is actually the tree house theme. Tree compared house. Compared to the three bedroom where we saw just now, at uh, which is a glass house theme. Okay. So uh, buyers here have the choice to choose between these two color palette. So if I buy a three bedroom, I can choose this color theme as well. Yes, you can. Okay. Later, we can have a look at a different provision available. Okay. Okay. So as you enter here, actually, this is mm. the junior master. Wow, the ceiling is really high. Yeah, I think the first thing you can yeah. realize is actually the ceiling mm. height is higher than typical. So over here at Lentoria, our high ceiling unit, which is the mm. first floor and the highest floor unit, are coming with a 5.5 to 5 meter height ceiling. 5.5 to 5. Okay. And it stretches not only throughout the living and dining, mm -hmm. but also in the bedrooms. The entire bedroom. Yes. So what's the room size are we looking at for so this? So this room is coming at 13.5 square meter. Okay, 13.5. Yes. Okay. So this bathroom, so the color theme will be the tree house theme, even rain shower provided. Yes, all these are provided. Okay. And these are the theme that you can choose between the glass house and tree house. There will be difference mm. in the toilet. Okay, that's nice. Wow, I noticed the kitchen have something that I really like, which is this glass panel that face the living room. So when you cook, you can check. Yeah, I think this is very practical because mm. firstly, the glass provides natural light in, into the kitchen. Yep. And also at the same time, you can monitor the situation in your I see. living room. Wow, this is very nice as well. Okay. So it's fully equipped with uh, in gas stove. Yes. Uh, what brand are they providing? All these are Bosch. Bosch. Same as the dryer and uh, washing machine. I see. And they also have a corner here. Wow, the drawer is really huge. I think the tabletop is comfortable mm. size, more than enough mm. for a four bedroom unit. Okay, coming to the yard area. Wow, this is a uh, open space to the outside. Yes. So you get cross ventilation. Yes, so for this unit, because it's at the corner, so we okay. do get a lot of ventilation throughout mm. the unit itself. And over here, uh, just like what you said, uh, the natural ventilation helps with drying your clothes. Uh. So when you wash your clothes, you can hang your clothes here. I see. Okay, so helper toilet. Oh, the helper toilet have a big window. Yes. This is very rare. Because most of the time, helper toilet is always the one that enclosed yes. just with a ventilator. So like I said, this is because this is in the corner of a unit. So it does have all this advantage of having the natural ventilation. Okay, and the helper room will be here. Yeah. So Very behind, precise. Behind me, this is actually a utility room, not a bomb shelter. Mm. So the, there's a lot of flexibility you can do in this room. Mm. Storage, racks, or even a helper's room. Okay, that's good. Let's check out the living room. Wow, very excited oh. to see the high ceiling. So the high ceiling, as you can mm. see from the common bedroom, actually, mm. it stretches out all the way to, to the, the living and dining, which yeah. over here we have a white frontage. Okay. White frontage meaning it's a back to back from the dining and What's dining. the width are we looking at? The width at? here it's is like 5.1 meter. 5.1 meter? Yeah. Okay. Same. So if you can see, mm. the balcony is also at a good space. Okay. Good size of Oh, you can put the alfresco yes. dining table here. So if you decide to do alfresco, right, actually mm. you have a huge living area. Yeah. Okay. Right. So if we put a dining table here, you can even put like a piano or another some yeah. other furniture here. So let's see the study room. Okay. okay, so this study room now is currently done up as a, a table setting with all the study items. Yep. But of course, because of the window and the aircon here, right, we yep. provided. Actually, there's many other options you can do, activity room, yoga room, etc. We can even enclose this yes, area. Enclose. Well, I can convert this into a walking wardrobe. You can, yes, <laughs> if you have more than enough clothes. Yeah, you can fully enclose, become a walking wardrobe. Okay. So you have... Over at the right side, this is the 
first uh, common bedroom. Okay. So both the common bedroom here are actually at the same size of 8.5 square meter. 8.5 square meter. Yeah. So 8.5 square meter means you can fit a queen size bed comfortably, comfortably yes. and full height wardrobe. And I notice the ceiling is really high. Yes. So like I said just now, it stretches across. So over here, if you want, of mm -hmm. course you can do a, a loft decking, which we can see at the, at the bedroom. Okay, sure. Right. So the common bathroom is the same, come with the window, yep. different colour theme, come with cabinetry. Wow, okay, this, this is the awesome. unique one. So this one we can do like uh, like this show flat design. Yep. So you can actually have a bed upstairs and another bed here. Yes. So because of the high ceiling, okay. there's actually uh, flexible options for you to do. Maybe okay. you can engage an ID to maximise on the creativity. Okay. So next we head to the master bedroom. How big is the master bedroom? Yep. So this master bedroom actually is the same size as the three bedroom at 17.4 okay. square meter. 17.4, okay. But because of the high ceiling, you actually can feel that it's oh. a much bigger space, right? Oh, they have the accessory corner as yes, well. Yes, all this okay. at the top. And a full height wardrobe on top, so you can put things. Yes. Okay. I noticed the lights are all provided. Yes, so over here, Landoria, all these lights within the carpentry work yep. are all done already. So this is a king size bed yes, with two king. side table. So it's quite comfortable. Yeah. You can still put a small TV console here. Yes. So over here, this is the master bath. Okay. And as you can see, it's all provided. So storage wise, I think there's more than enough. Uh, you don't need to worry about it. This mm. unit is really moving condition. You can yeah. just... They even okay. provide a, a toiletry tray. Yes. Very thoughtful, I would say. Yeah, very thoughtful. Okay. So we don't have to do much renovation. So, so what do you think, what is the unique selling point for this Lentoria? I mean, we have seen the layout, we have seen the finishing. Uh, what stand out Lentoria compared to the rest of the project in Lentor? Yes, so as everyone knows Lentor, there's a uh, mm. few pieces of land, there's few yeah. pieces of uh, development yeah, here. Right. So, if you are to remember Lentoria, I think you should mm. think of two things that which is unique for Lentoria. Okay. Firstly, it's because that we are one kilometre. One kilometre to St. Nicholas, which is a very good so, school. Yes, so yeah. if you know, Mm. that uh, any residential development that is oh. within one kilometre to good school mm. are popular in nature, the demand is high. Definitely. So this is where Lentora stands in. Okay. And uh, secondly, mm. I think uh, one thing that we should take note is actually this is a non-PPVC development. Oh, so you means you can knock down all the wall, you yeah. can reconfigure so the, the layout. structural wall, you can okay. reconfigure it. Mm. If you don't like it, you can actually mm. make another walk-in wardrobe if you need. Yep. If you don't like the four bedroom, you also can configure yeah. into three big bedrooms so you have the flexibility to do so i see okay that's that's good to know so um which is unusual for a government land sales uh plot of land that can do non pvvc yes okay. i think this is a very unique highlight of this development mm. okay right. thank you very much thank so you uh we hope to see more people come and see lentoria and i think it's really a very beautiful project something very different from the rest yeah okay thank you thank you